Hi, Darren. My name is Erin, and I'm with Jeff Digital Marketing, and you had spoken with my partner and husband, Rob, on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But we'll go ahead and get started. The three things I'll be going over are going to be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and that would be considered anything you can see on your site here. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what your pictures are saved as as well. And Google typically likes to see about 1500 words on the homepage of a site. And within those 1500 words, that gives you the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching for when they're looking for your services. So my only suggestion really would be probably to add a bit more content to get you to those 1500 words and then look for places where you're able to integrate in uh, keywords. But your site is a beautiful site. Um, it's very organized. I like the way everything is laid out. It's very user friendly. Um, so amazing job with that. So next up is citations, and I pulled up a quick search here, and the first thing that comes up is this section. This is called the map pack, and citations have a lot to do with that section. So a citation is basically your business name, address, and telephone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, and really anywhere else that will allow business owners to add in those details and services. So you would want to see where your competitors are being listed within those directories, and you would want to grab those listings for your business, but then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're being found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you want to grab those 10 and then you want to have 20, 30, 40 more. That's going to have you completely dominating them in that space, but it also helps you to rank high here. So moving along here to backlinks. And backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And the way backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site. And it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So um, let's say that you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop. And they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours but their link is going to be all about ice cream, so it's not going to be very helpful. You would wanna get links from other CBD stores, other hemp stores that send a link back to your site and signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. That will be a lot more powerful, but also unique in Google's eyes because it is relevant to your industry. And I did pull up one of the tools that I use here just so I can give you a visual representation of what I'm talking about. So it's showing currently you all have 11 referring domains, which are giving you 29 backlinks, getting you found for 14 keywords, and that's driving about one person to your site per month. And now here's one of the competitors. It's showing they have 546 referring domains, giving them 2.65 thousand backlinks, getting them found for 3.1 thousand keywords, and that's driving 472 people to their site just monthly. So let's see if we can take a look at what keywords they're using here. So um, here's a perfect one, the CBD Oil Grand Junction. So this is perfect because it lists the product or service or industry, and then it lists the location that this company is trying to target. Um, CBD Retailers Springfield MO, another great one. Again, the product, service, or industry, and the specific location that they're trying to target. And it looks like they are trying to target several different locations. Um, that's just putting them in front of more people. But I certainly will not bore you and have us go through all these keywords, but I hope that at least kind of gives you an idea of the types of things that you would want to work into that content or your product descriptions. Um, and truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. But just like we talked about with the citations, um, also always adding on to that so you're far surpassing whatever your competitors are doing. 
that's the kind of thing that's going to get you on that first page of Google, but it will also make it very difficult for your competition to keep up with you. But that's all I have for you today, Darren. I do hope that this video was helpful. If you'd like to know more about Duff Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us. We'd love to talk to you about that. But thank you again for your time and you have a great day.